All right guys, time for another <laughs> repair, swap out, replacement video. I'm gonna be swapping out this thing here, the switch assembly, because it won't roll up or down when I actually try to control it with this. Only when I actually uh, roll the window down in the passenger seat and go to what uh, wind it up, it works. There's also um, some other things here, like this gets stuck. This thing right here is very faulty. I got this from Amazon. So I think I got it for around 21, 23 bucks. Not bad at all. Hopefully this is the same thing. It fits. Um, I saw a video, you have to actually take several screws out. So you pop it out with the um, flathead screwdriver. There, there. And, and everything else requires um, Phillips head. There's one there you gotta take. I get to take, take this whole door panel off just to get inside. And then there's a few more screws just to pop that thing right there off. Let's get started. This, there's some extra things that comes with it. Just a screw. Be sure you have somewhere good to place these, um, as well as the covers. The covers only there for aesthetics, but you don't want to just look at that and regret. Don't mind the dirt. We're gonna be detailing this pretty soon. But if you look at this, there's a, there's a couple of grooves here. There's a groove here um, for the actual flathead or device to go through. So I would recommend one smaller than this one here. We're gonna be doing, doing that one as well as the one inside. You. Wait, is there? Pop that off. Boom. All right, guys, again, I'm doing this for the first time as well. So uh, since this won't come out, I'm just gonna jimmy one of these things. Think of about. Oh, okay, all right, all right, I'm putting the camera down. All right, guys, so I pretty much started from the bottom. Now I'm here, working my way up to the side. Pretty sure I broke something there. Heard a strange noise and rattling. And I'll deal with that later. I'm gonna keep going up. Oh, God. You see those noises are these things here. Yeah, these things right here making all that noise. So, um, don't be alarmed. I mean, you think you broke something, you most likely did, but don't worry about it until later. I'm not. All right, so since I got um, the bottom part of this um, loose, what I'm gonna do is lift and see what happens. Cool, lifting does actually make it come up. So I'm gonna lift this all the way up and not let it fall because I'm pretty sure there's cables attached to it. And yes, there's cables there and the actual thing we're looking for is here, and it's gonna be under this. So I was trying to actually avoid taking off all these cables, but it's pretty pretty easy to take off. So I'm just gonna take these off. Let's off this one. Yep, that one's clamp like this. Goes in here like that, push the clamp down, comes off. And the video that you can see, it's gonna fill around for a clamp. I fill one there, leave it there. Press down on it, comes right out. I'm gonna forget about that one. We're doing this live, guys. Okay, so this is a clamp here, but there's also one here. Oh, really? I just have to pull it out. Why, why is this so difficult? Like, it's just a card. Please. You serious? Well, I think this is completely Just don't fall. It's great. All right. So it's completely detached. Now what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew screw there. We're going to unscrew those two there, as well as that one there. And that should come out pretty easily, hopefully. All right. So besides them just being douchebags, um, Pardon my French, no, Italian. Pardon my Italian, where's my French? Uh, the actual, as you saw, the screws are actually inside of this, right? But this covers in a way, so you can't easily get a screwdriver in. So hopefully this works, but um, this is the one I'm using. I believe it's actually stripping it, so that's cool. No, oh, it's actually turning. So this is actually turning it, so you might have to, um, be cognizant of that. We're gonna have to actually use these screws into the bed. So what I'm gonna do is actually pull this up. Thank you, FedEx. While I unscrew it, and um, so it can fall back into their respective holes. All right, so I'm gonna assume that this is somehow attached um, under this, which is the mirror control. All right, um, don't like it. All. So what happened was this was the uh, the culprit, of course. I could not get my. There's another one of these right on the other side. Of this. And um, yeah, just would not. Just 
screwdriver would not go in because, you know, it's normal, right? So I had to snap it. I thought it was something. I thought it was this thing and I'm messing up, but just let you know, that's what that is. All right, so I just want to show, show you guys the links I have to go to to actually unscrew this thing. And it quite literally force this other switch up in order for me that well, I had it, but I cannot wait to do the deuce back reading of this. And I'm gonna have to do something similar to this or get like a very small Phillips head screwdriver. That's not one of those thick ones, but the... <sighs> All right, so this is gonna be the new one here. This is the older one I'm replacing it with, the Forstic OEM. They look very similar. Yeah, they look very similar. This one looks a lot cleaner though. So I do like that a lot. All in all, very similar. So I'm just gonna put that in. The screw's still in there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but we'll see. I might just screw that in. Screw it. <laughs> screw it. But I would absolutely recommend, um, this is due to me trying this out already and failing. Um, I would put these screws back in before you actually put it inside of here. Cause this would be hard to maneuver it inside with or without a magnetic uh, screwdriver, which this one is not. So I recommend doing that first. This side uh, goes in full head. So what? Screw tip number two, do not screw one side down before the other one. Do not screw this side in uh, at least 75% of the way until you screw this side in because it'll uh, be kind of weird when you're uh, trying to screw it in. And likewise, it's the other way around. This is just, just how it is going to be looking. It doesn't look that bad. Um, I, I believe this is because the other screw was still inside. Um, and I didn't get it out and screw it back in. Um, let's screw that. I'm not going to do that. Let's waste my time. Alright, now the journey to put this thing back on. Uh, if you remember, this right here goes into this blue thing there. That's for the, the side mirror controls. This here goes right there. Just snaps in. This one just snaps in. This right here goes into the actual window switch. This here snaps in pretty easily right there. So let's do that. All right, I know you guys didn't have much faith in me, but look, they're all in. And I must say it does go in much easier than it comes out. I'll leave you some time to ponder about that. Uh, next, what I'm going to be stressing out about is actually putting these things in those things, um, and then hopefully not breaking one of these and being it being loose for the rest of its entirety, um, you know, for the rest of its life. Uh, yeah, let's try that out. Just making sure no other cables are amiss. Cool. Okay, we have to get this back um, and over this and sit back in. Like that, but you also want to make sure that this cable is hanging out. So we're gonna do that before we start um, pushing it in. All right, pushed it in. It looks level. Um, want to be sure that these things line up, more sides. Than that. And then you wanna hopefully start from one side, work your way around. Let's try it out. Okay, so I found something that's actually kind of upsetting and very jerkish. So the deuce bag level definitely goes up 1.5 points for this. But you see these things right here? At least there's one there and there's one there. They actually slide in to these things. So you have to literally slide these things in before you actually start putting it on. So to... Okay, so this is the nosiest squirrel I've ever seen. Like, he knows he's on video now. He was side eyeing me, but he was hearing me struggle over here. <laughs> but I got these things out. Um, turns out they're not really douche bags, but they are. I'm gonna keep my rating. But these guys just slide in and you poke them in. So I'm so sorry if you these things out. You don't want to see the marks. I left them in the car. I also have the genius, the genius idea to actually test these out before I start screwing everything in. So let's do so. Oh, and it's not stuck. All right. And why is the video stuttering? <gasps> and it works. Sweet. I am good for something. All right, guys. Again, don't mind how dirty it is. We're gonna get in this thing detailed uh, next year sometime. But um, you wanna hit right right here right here where they're actually at actually at i think there's one down here be careful of this light um i hit a couple times here as well as one time right there in the middle and it's not besides the actual door moving i'm happy about that i'm going to be putting the um door thing back on as well as the speaker and then i'm going to start screwing everything in i'm sorry for the door it's really hot outside i'm in texas so I'm not sure what that means, but it's hot, it's <laughs> summer. All right, so I'm gonna do this together with you guys since this is um, a very interesting part. Um, 
Do you want to pull this handle out? Oh, I'll have to show you. There's a little, I don't know what this is, clamp? This goes into something in, in the door, so you want to be cognizant of that. So you want to put that up. You want to try not to do this with one hand. I'm going to push the sides in, and then... Yeah, looks good. I'm, I'm going to put the screw in. Um, find the screws for this, for those, <coughs> for the two at the bottom. Bless me. Um, and then, that's, that's it. Screw there. So one screw there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. There's also one back there. All right, again, this thing is pretty simple to put on. Don't make it complicated, guys. Two, get a click, click. And then, you must just put this back on. All right, now that the speaker's in, it looks very hideous. You want to screw everything in, of course, in the same order that you did it in. Not the reverse, because, you know, that's that's just not proper process, right? That's, that's not a best practice at all. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm tired. It's hot. This works. Let's uh, test it out again. Okay, that goes down, that goes down, that goes down, thank goodness, and it goes down. Alright, thank you guys for staying with me. I doubt anyone stayed to the very end. If you did, here's my white shirt. Doesn't look dirty at all. Yeah, this is a pretty clean job. I had a couple screws left over. Probably took less than 40 minutes or so. Without me making the video, it was about 40 minutes to do so. so I do recommend it if you guys are uh, too lazy to do things. Just go and get it done. Today's my birthday and I did it for my birthday. So this has been a white shirt repair video. Thanks for watching.